everybody, it's Justin. Howdy. Okay, check it out. The Lord says to stop looking at your surroundings and to start walking in victory. And he said something really, really powerful. He said, he goes, I don't fall. He said, why are you looking at all these other things when I don't fall? He said, to walk in victory. And the more you think about that, and the more I'm thinking about that as I've just received it, the more that you think about something like that, it's like... When he said something, it doesn't fall. So whatever it is that you're putting up against God's word, God's word and promises and statutes and all of those things and the personal revelation that he's given to you will stand up to it and defeat it. Because most of the time what the enemy does, it's like he likes to he likes to puff up, you know, he's a peacock, you know what I'm saying? So he wants to look intimidating, but in reality, all he has is the lobbying capability that he has in order to get permission to come against you. He's a lobbyist, is what he is. Truly, he has no more power over you than you what you give him. He lobbies to get your to get your attention to distract you and to come into your life and to cause sickness and disease and all sorts of things. It lobbies that. By your confession, by a multitude of things. He's a lobbyist at the end of the day. Try to convince you. And like it says in Revelation that we're going to look upon him and say that that's the guy who caused all that trouble? That's him? And here's the thing about it. Some of us may look at that scripture and say that, you know, oh, well, he's just, he's just a little imp, you know, running around causing trouble, you know, we're going to say, you know, how pathetic. I don't think that may be the case. I think it's going to be more the case where we look at God and see God for who he truly is. And in contrast to God, we're going to say that that's the guy, even though the word says that he's the most beautiful, you know, angel that has been created and everything, you know, but we're going to say that in contrast to God, like, that's the guy? He's nothing. Nothing. So whatever it is that you want to put in front of, in front of God as a challenge, he's going to knock him out. The only way that God's not going to knock him out is if you don't put it in the ring. Like, really, that's the only way. Because if you put if you put it in the ring, he's gonna knock it out. And God may do it on a rope a dope, just just to put a, just to give a show, <laughs> just to get more glory for himself. He may do a rope a dope. He may take one of the baddest challenges you ever see and just give one uppercut and lay him out. He may just outlast the opponent. He may do whatever it is that he wants to do. He has billions of ways to win pass to win but they're all contingent upon what he's already said he's like how don't worry about that just know the fact that I got the belt I'm undefeated and you ain't taking it because it's impossible he's literally saying it's impossible the only way the only way if you don't put the problems in the ring with God that's it. Or you throw on the towel. It's like, well, maybe God didn't say that. Because you looked around you and you thought that the situation and the opponent that was trying to come against God's word was more powerful than God. That's what happened to you. You know, you didn't really hang your, your belief on the fact that that is his word. That is his word. Now it's up to God to fight for it. You know? So it's to that's totally on him. That's totally on him. 
you know? I think a lot of times we even feel guilty sometimes, you know, saying that, you know, God is on you. Like, like, you know, uh, we want to take responsibility and not be some kind of pie in the sky Christian. And I understand that to a certain extent, but, you know, and, and it is true that you do want to, you know, not just sit around on your, on your laurels and think that, you know, God's going to do X, Y, and Z. No, it requires action because the belief will show in your faith. The belief is simply going to be the the anchor of your faith, of your action. So that's why it's impossible to please God without faith, because if you believe this, you'll do this. Even if you don't know it quite yet. Even if you don't, don't have it in your hand, you believe it, so therefore you'll still do it. So if you're thinking that, you know, you're gonna sit around and do nothing, no, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that. The belief needs to be grounded in the fact that God is forever faithful to his word. So we got to factor those things in there too. Otherwise, you know, we're trying to run around, you know what I'm saying, fight all these things by ourselves. And the opponent that we come against a lot of times is tough, really tough. And eventually he's going to wear you out. But you put him in the ring with the, with, with the word? The rhema word with God? He said, I don't, I don't fall, is what he said. Man, I love that. I don't fall. So then, I just want to speak this thing over you guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here for this one. Because ain't nothing to be said, really. <laughs> I don't fall. Glory. Wow. I don't fall. But, I'm going to clear these things over you guys. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you don't fall. That you are in front of the word. No, you're behind the word. And that word is moving, it has moved you towards all challenge and all difficulty. All sickness, all everything. That word that you have hung yourself on. In whatever the situation requires, a word that you have put forth to God saying that God, in, in financial trouble, you said this. God, in sickness, you said this. God, in doubt, you said this. And all of those things, you repeated back the word and you hung and you hung those things on there. So good job, good and faithful servant. I speak these things and declare these things over you in Jesus' name. All right, guys, that's my time. Links are going to be in the description below. God bless and bye-bye. Thank you once again to my Patreon supporters. It means so much to me. Just look at them. Just look at these people. Just look at it.